Richter scale. Richter. Richter scale. Richter. It's my birthday and I'm making a gift for my friend Becky Starin because it is also her birthday and we wanted to make like a secret Santa gift exchange thing. Birthday Santa. Again, what do you make for someone who can make anything? Hey, it's Becky. Okay, I get to brag here, but Becky Stern is my friend and she's super smart. She makes stuff with electronics, paint, woodwork, sewing, and I think just about any material and technique. She is super creative, an excellent maker, and I watch a lot of her videos and learn a lot. So yeah, you should definitely check out her channel if you want to learn how to make cool and fun stuff. I'm going to put links in the description below. I'm making something for Becky Stern and I know that she really, really likes disaster movies. She likes terrariums. And also when she was little, she told me that she took horseback riding lessons and she made friends with a horse named Sunny. Sunny, Sunny. So I'm putting everything she likes in one build and making a disaster terrarium featuring Sunny the horse. Let's go. What's the scariest natural disaster? Earthquakes. So I'm making an earthquake inside a glass terrarium. I lived through a few earthquakes while growing up in Guadalajara and I know they can go like this or this or this and I wanted to make this. So I designed a platform to be shaken by a motor with a stick and a coin to shift its weight and to also be suspended by these pole things I designed on Tinkercad and 3D printed. I joined them with springs, kind of like a trampoline swing thing. I tested it, it worked, but I wasn't getting the earthquake I remembered. This was what, about two on the Richter scale? Not enough. This underwhelming earthquake reminded me that I probably didn't take enough physics in college, which reminds me of that job interview I once had with Disney Imagineer, which by the way is my dream job, and how the interviewer was disappointed that I didn't take enough physics. So I threw away my design, quit overly engineering my earthquake, and went for my hackiest idea, which was to glue the spring straight to the glass. I tested it, and I got exactly what I wanted. Earthquake Maxima. I think it looks more than eight on the Richter scale. <laughs> the hackiest solution is the best solution. After the test, all I had to do was finish soldering, which was actually hard because who puts things inside glass to solder later? Me, I did that. I really need to stop making things in glass. I pretended I was practicing building a boat in a bottle, a robot in a bottle, a robottle? <laughs> I added moss, Sunny the horse, tiny tools because this is Becky's world, and boom! Disaster terrarium with Sunny the horse. If you want to make your own disaster terrarium with Sunny the horse, I wrote a blog about it with all the technical stuff and the uh, stuff I used. And I'm gonna put the link in the description below. I hope Becky likes it. Her, I hope she gets it, likes it. I'm gonna have to write her a letter about this. But um, yeah, the simplest solution with the springs worked the best. I really like the way it turned out. I seriously went through all the maker stages, all of them, of like, this is a great idea. What am I doing? I should stop doing this and start over. It's too late to start over. What did I sign up for to... Oh my God, I love it. Sunny, surviving the apocalypse. Meow, meow, meow. Today is my birthday, so I'm probably eating chocolate cake and getting ready for my live stream on Instagram, which reminds me you should follow me on Instagram to come hang out on my weekly live streams when I do giveaways and just hang out and rant about things. Mm. And yes, please, if you like this video, give it a like, comment. I read all your comments. Thank you so much for commenting on my past video. I really appreciate it. And uh, subscribe, it really, really helps the channel. And I really appreciate it because I like making these videos um, a lot. So thank you.
Okay. I feel like I should be eating cake right now. <gasps> it's beautiful! Oh my god! <gasps> it's, it's everything! So, it has chocolate cake because chocolate cake is my favorite thing in the world. Not just for my birthday, like chocolate cake. I love chocolate. I could eat chocolate cake every day, all the time, every meal. There's, um, Teddy and Luna! And then I think these are Texas. And my logo, oh my gosh. And then, okay, so there's, um, there's LEDs and it's, uh, she hand stitched this. Is the word stitch, right? And then like the frame is 3D printed. There it says bigger. Oh, it's like the same one I use. So this is the same one I use for James Burton for um, the RTC timer thing so that I could calculate the date. Yes, that I could calculate the date the, until the year was over. So I think this might calculate the my birthday. What if I just turn it on with my... So I wonder, I wonder if this is gonna like turn on... <laughs> it's candles! I wonder if the, um, the sound is gonna play on my birthday. That's a whole lot of cake. That's a Wait, what? So this one is. Lived <laughs> <laughs> in the heart of Texas. This is the best song ever. I'm sorry. I know Texas is like a cult, but it's a great cult. Spanish? Okay, what about this one? Ooh, fancy. I love this so much. Thank you, Becky. I'm gonna... That's a whole lot of cake. That's a whole I'm gonna put it up on the wall somewhere visible so everybody can enjoy this. That's a whole lot of cake. That's so here's the, um, the, like, the sound cardboard thing and the RTC cube. RTC stuff and the speaker and the screws and I can't wait to see what it does on my birthday. We'll check it out on the uh, live stream. Happy birthday! <laughs> Where did she go? Okay. <laughs>